Good evening. Angry public servants are rallying outside state parliament for the second time today, protesting against the Premier's plan to cap wage increases. Lee Jelasek is there. Lee, it could be a long night. Yes, Chris, unions representing government workers are furious at the proposed wages policy, saying it would leave hundreds of thousands of pu public servants worse off. Now, while they demonstrate outside, inside, some opposition MPs are hoping to delay a vote on the bill by debating right through the night. Nurses, teachers and police join other unions staging a blockade of Macquarie Street outside Parliament. They're furious. Calling the government and calling the Premier a liar. Unionists fear the legislation will not only cap pay rises at 2.5 per cent, but also strip their rights in the Industrial Relations Commission. Two months into his premiership and the real Barry O'Farrell has been revealed. It will mean that the students in public schools across New South Wales will be the one that pay the price down the track. Inside Parliament, the debate raged in both houses. Will you listen to the more than 15,000 people who signed the People's Petition I tabled yesterday? We will not stick taxpayers with a $900 million bill for wages paid in excess of 2.5 per cent. In the Upper House, the debate began yesterday and could drag on through the night. Labor's Sophie Kotzes has been speaking for five hours as the opposition tries to stall. It is already very difficult to recruit registered and enrolled nurses. Ultimately, these men will decide the public servant's fate, the shooters and fishers. You're a fairly young red deer. I took that about 15 years ago in New Zealand. If they team with the Christian Democrats, Barry O'Farrell's bill will succeed. If the Liberals play the game uh, the way we'll play it, which is straight down the middle, we won't have any problems with it. Proud hunters, they believe their members should be able to target feral animals in national parks, not just forests. We say, OK, foxes and cats can't read maps, so what's the point in limiting this volunteer resource to state forests? They also believe it's time the gun laws were looked at. We're not talking about Rambos running around with, with uh, semi-automatic weapons shooting up uh, you know, the streets in, uh, in some inner-city suburbs. And they're no fans of the Greens. Totally sanctimonious. They, uh... <laughs> they probably say the same thing about us, they leave. Yeah, <laughs> well, they, they, they call us rednecks, but uh, the reality is that uh, we're not sanctimonious rednecks. Now they hold the balance of power, and a lot of it. Lee Jellisek, 7 News.